Kawhi, right over here. Uh, you guys have gotten off to a franchise best 11 and one start at home. What's been the key to that so far, and how can you guys carry that onto the road where you guys are one and four so far? I think. Um, I mean, the key to it, I guess, um, you know, just closing out those fourth quarter games, um, you know, that we've been going down in the wire with, uh, you know, just coming in ready to play, um, you know, tonight, uh, got off to a good start early and, uh, ended up keeping the lead and just going on the road, uh, you know, just buying in with each other, um, you know, making sure that we're there to accomplish, uh, you know, um, a goal go out there and win and um you know the successful teams win on the road um Kawhi, not now that you all have those um, challenging um home games um how does that prepare you for this upcoming road trip um i mean just trusting each other just having that extra uh the extra games under our belt um you know knowing we could dig ourselves out the hole if we get down and i mean that's pretty much it um just got to keep playing and, and um, going on the road. Just keep getting experience with each other, pretty much. Kawhi, you're f over here. Your, your first game is against Dallas, and Lucas playing very well for them in Dallas. What does it take to try to slow him down, and what's been impressive about him that you've seen so far? Uh, you know, he just he's ahead of the snake over there. Uh, he's playing great, like you said. Getting his teammates involved, making shots, uh, just playing competitive basketball. Um, you know they're winning. What have you What have you learned playing with Trez during this homestand? He said his career high tonight, or he tied his career high. What can you say about him? Uh, he went out there, played aggressive tonight. Um, you know he's able to pass the ball as being a five man. Uh, he's getting to his spots, um, blocking shots on defense as well. Uh, just so going out there competing and um, not backing down. Kawhi, over here. Uh, in the modern NBA, there's a lot of three-point shooting. Uh, you're able to do a lot of your damage uh, in the mid-range. Uh, you also shoot threes, but you're also probably the best NBA player in, in that mid-range area. How has that developed as part of your game, and, and why is that so central to what you do offensively? Um, I just think... Um, it's hard to guard um, guys that shoot twos. It's playoff basketball. And, um, you know, once you get to the playoffs, it becomes half-court game. And pretty much teams don't want any wide-open shots or threes. So just pretty much trying to get to my spot and make it. Uh, Kawhi, uh, when Pat Beverly, Lou Williams, and Montrose Hill in this hometown, homestand have a great game, great games like that, how easy does it make it for you and Paul George? It makes it easy, um, you know, either trapping a ball and making this, uh, you know, hit hit one of those guys. And when they make shots, um, it just opens up the floor. But, um, you know, they're going out playing defense as well. You know, we could get out in transition and get some easy shots, some wide open shots as well if we do that. So, um, you know, you know, winning is takes part of the whole, whole 10, 15 players. Um, it's hard to win with one or two guys. You need the whole group. Over here. Uh, you've played uh, a couple games now with Paul. What's it like having him on the floor now and playing? Uh, it's been great. Um, you know, we're still trying to figure it out. Um, as well as um, the plays and everybody else playing off of each other. And, I mean, it's been good so far. We've been winning, so it always could be worse. But uh, he's just a, you know, all-star caliber player. Um, you know, in the MVP votes last year, he's able to space out the floor and also gives you that uh, extra defender on the other end. Kawhi, uh, obviously, once once the game tips off, you're, you're locked in. But um, rumor has it you're a fun guy. What did you, what did you make of a lose? Hey, hey, hey! Impersonation before the game. I didn't really didn't even pay attention to it. Uh, I really didn't hear. It. Uh, I think at that point we were walking to either the bench or listening to Doc drop a play. But I didn't know he did the impersonation. You in the locker room about that? Is that is that the case? Is that? Not yet. No, no I didn't hear it yet. Uh, uh, Kawhi over here. Um, have you noticed a difference in the way that teams are playing you since Paul has joined you on the floor? I'm, you know, I remember Doc mentioned a lot that teams were trapping you kind of before he joined you on the lineup. Any thoughts on that? Um, say that again. 
I'm sorry, I said, have you noticed the way, uh, have you noticed a difference in the way the teams are playing you now that Paul has joined you all on the floor defensively? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, um, you know, he's a you know, top five scorer and um, he gets able to shoot the three, so it's hard to double at, at times when I'm out on the floor with him. So, I mean, he's, he helps me out, uh, ease up the game for me as well. Um, probably do the same for him, but coming in, uh, I think Boston was trapping the ball screens pretty much a little bit, both of us, but like uh, we're just talking to him, um, you know, when when they're making this pass to the guys that are wide open, they just got to knock down a shot and then it's going to open up, open it up for us. Um, you missed three games a couple weeks ago with that uh, left knee contusion. Uh, can you tell us or describe what happened on the play or what, when that happened and uh, how you're doing now? Uh, really don't remember uh we were trying to figure out um you know when i did get hit but um you know right now i'm doing good